the Bible says that we should not use our liberty that might offend a weaker brother. And what that means is liberty to uh, smoke a cigar, perhaps, because Jesus said, not that which comes in defiles a man, but that which comes out of. I suppose a person could argue if you, when you inhale, well, cigars are, if you inhale, then it comes out, it's unclean. It's an unclean habit, but anyway, the very presence of smoking, you call yourself a brother in Christ, uh, does not fare well with a lot of Christians as being, uh, as you being sincere in your denying yourself and denying worldly lust, because smoking is a worldly lust. Smoking cigarettes or, or vaping. But it is, uh, if we believe in speaking in tongues and interpretation of tongues, and that uh, we can do that by the Spirit of Christ, if that offends a person who doesn't believe in speaking in tongues, does believes they have ceased, then that offense is on that person, not on the person who believes in tongues, because it is the truth. It is the testimony of Jesus Christ. The spirit of prophecy, the prophetic utterance, thus saith the Lord, the prophets spoke as they were moved by the Holy Ghost, that still happens today. If it didn't, uh, we would be as Sodom and like unto Gomorrah. So the prophetic word is a testimony of Jesus Christ. It doesn't add to or take away from the words of Christ. It confirms. The prophetic utterance is a confirmation of the word. If it doesn't confirm the word, then it is not of God. Now dreams are sometimes given by God and sometimes they are just the works of our own flesh. So we must learn to tell the difference. And if we're saying, Thus saith the Lord, I have dreamed, this is a dream I had, God gave me. And if it doesn't turn out like you said, then you lied to your brothers in Christ. And you should tell them that you were wrong. But many of these prophets that prophesy dreams, they don't apologize for their dreams dreams when they fail. And these words of knowledge that a lot of people supposedly have concerning political events, uh, God is not the author of confusion, and neither is his kingdom of this world. His kingdom is heavenly, and as high as the heavens are above the earth are the things of the kingdom of God, but they are planted in our hearts he reveals his secrets to his prophets and his servants. Those who serve him receive spiritual revelations so that we are not taken unawares. We are not surprised of the events that take place. We know that we are in perilous times and men are bolsters, proud, arrogant, Children are disobedient to their parents, unthankful, unholy, and the churches are merely forms of godliness that deny the power of Christ, which is His Spirit, the Holy Ghost, manifest in the gifts and healings, revelations, words of knowledge. All these things are given, every gift is given severally as the Holy Spirit would to one person or any person in the body of Christ. So that when the assembly of the saints is gathered together, each member goes into the assembly ready to participate and be a, a participant of the Holy Ghost as it dispenses its gifts, disperses its gifts, and activates the gifts um, through the congregation to those that are willing and serve God in truth and holiness. 
Pastors many times quench the spirit by controlling the platform and not giving space to the body of Christ to to rise up and share a psalm or a revelation or a tongue or an interpretation. And so when the spirit of God is quenched, the people die spiritually. If they keep going there, they eventually die and they must either get out of there before they die or they become uh, participants of receiving the plagues that come upon that congregation because of quenching the spirit is denying the power of Christ and that brings on the judgment of God. Judgment begins in the house of the Lord. So if you are in an assembly that does not believe in the gifts flowing through the people, then you best get out of there. Come out of her, my people. Touch not the unclean thing, lest you be a partaker of their sins and receive of their plagues. That's the Holy Ghost speaking right now to somebody. You need to get out of that church now. In Jesus' name.